This video is about the subject and the object pronouns. For the video on possessives, please see the link in the description. Subject pronouns Subject pronouns are always the subject of the sentence. They can only be left out if the subject of the sentence is expressed another way. In English, we always need to have a subject in the sentence. This is because English doesn't conjugate as much as other languages, so based on the verb, you can't decide whom you're speaking of. First person singular. I swim. Second person singular, plural. You swim. In English, you can't distinguish between you singular and you plural. We can talk about one or many people. Only the circumstances can determine which one it is. In some areas, local dialects have tried to solve this problem. In the UK, you can hear use. In the US, they may say you all or y'all. However, these are usually considered not official, so don't use them in formal speech. You can use you all in more formal speech, but mainly when referring to a group of people in front of you. You can also be used to talk about general things people do. You boil the water before putting in the tea leaves. Here, we are talking about what people generally do. You can say it to a person or could be speaking in general. There are many ways you can use different grammatical solutions for this in English, but this is probably the simplest. Third person singular. The third person singular in English is gendered. That means you distinguish whom you're speaking of based on gender. He swims. It's a man. She swims. It's a woman. It swims. I don't know or it's not something that has a gender. In the 21st century, Using the right pronoun for people has become very important. If you are unsure, try to ask the person about their preferred pronoun. Try to avoid using it for people as it can be offensive. First person plural. We swim. Third person plural. They swim. Usually, it's used to talk about more than one person. However, it can also be used if you're talking about a person in the third person and you don't know their gender. Object pronouns. Object pronouns are used when the person or thing you are talking about is not the subject of the sentence, but the object. You love me. In many languages, there are more kinds of pronouns. In English, you modify the object pronoun with prepositions. 
You come with me. You listen to me. You wait for me. The pronoun doesn't always change when it's the object. You and it don't change. However, everything else does. You love me. I love him. I love her. You love us. I love them. Learning these few words is very important in your English studies as they are used in so many ways. Now learn about the possessive adjectives and pronouns in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, please support my work on Patreon.